Hello you guys, I welcome to a reading vlog with spoilers for Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. And I don't know why I don't have the book in my hands right now because I forgot to go get it. Spoiler vlog for this book. I have been all over the place today because it's Monday, April 20th, I think. And I actually, it's like, what time is it? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. And I was like, man, I really need to start filming the spoiler vlog. I actually am 17 pages in because I started reading this last night. But then I also was like, oh, my Misfits order just came. So I just got a bunch of like produce like delivered at my door. And I just got the old fashioned oats that I had ordered. And so I wanted to make homemade granola for my husband. So then I was like, okay, let me do that first before I start reading Little Secrets. And then I was like, wait, that would be perfect vlog footage. I was like, everyone probably wants to like see me make homemade granola, right? And then I was like, but I didn't start this video yet. There's no intro. So that's why I'm here and it's kind of rushed, but I'm gonna be making some homemade granola and then I'm going to start reading or reading more of Little Secrets. If you're new to my spoiler vlogs, just to let you know that there are spoilers throughout this whole video. So I usually tell people to not watch this video unless you've already read this book or only watch this video if you don't mind being spoiled, like if you haven't read it or if you haven't finished it. It's just too hard for me to figure out like where the spoilers come in for you guys. And so just don't watch this video unless you wanna be spoiled for this book or like I said, if you've already read it. Now, I will say that I think that you should go into this book without reading the synopsis on the back. I didn't read the synopsis on the back and then last night I was reading it and I was like really enjoying it like 12 pages in and I was like, whoa, I can't believe all this is happening. Like this is crazy right off the bat. And then I was like, mm, let me read the synopsis because I, I forget what this book is about. And then I read the synopsis and I was like, wait, stop telling me everything. So I was pretty sad because like, what I was surprised about in the beginning actually is told in the synopsis. And then there's another thing in the synopsis that is gonna happen, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen eventually. And I don't know, like I just kind of like got disappointed about that because I feel like they're giving me, like I feel like they're just giving out all the information when you could be more surprised reading this book. So I think I'm going to start like not reading synopsises for thriller books because I don't know, it just kind of totally ruined it for me where I was like, wow, now I'm gonna know what part of this book is about when I could have just been surprised. But I mean, that doesn't really help you guys because you probably already read this if you're watching this video. So I will make sure I tell you guys in my wrap up video to not read the synopsis of this book if you're going to read it. Okay, before we start reading, let's make some homemade granola. Sorry that the sunlight is really crazy right now, but I'm in my living room and it's always like super dark during the day. And then the sun like sets in front of this window. And so then it's always like the sun is shining right here. It's five o'clock. Even though I updated you guys at like two o'clock, I have not read a whole bunch. I decided to like start looking at bullet journaling spreads that I wanted to do for May. And I turned on some Gilmore Girls because I love Gilmore Girls. Why? It seems so dark right now. Um, So that's what I've been doing. I poured myself a glass of wine. Well, cause I had a bottle open from the other day. So far, I am just not super impressed. Let me change this. I was impressed with the first 17 pages before I read the synopsis because I didn't realize that Marin, I guess that's how you say it. Is it Marin or Marin? I don't know. Um, her son, Sebastian, went missing. Like someone kidnapped him. And I didn't realize that like, this was about a missing child. And so that's what I'm saying. Like I was shocked by that because I didn't realize it. And then when I read the synopsis, I was like, okay, why did you just tell me that the child is missing? Like, I don't know. So I, after reading that, you know, initial twist, then it just kind of went into like six, not 16 years, uh, 16 months later. Um, Cause he's still not found. And it's talking about like, this like support group that she's in with the with these other people that also lost children and i don't know it's just kind of like dragging on now and then at the end of page 40 that i just finished reading it just got to like how oh she never told her husband she hired a pi but like 
on the synopsis it even says that she hired a personal investigator like that's what i'm saying like i wish i didn't read the synopsis because the synopsis even says that she hired a personal investigator and then she finds out that her husband is having an affair with a younger woman so they don't find anything about her son it's the fact that her husband is having like an affair and it says the discovery sparks Marin back to life. She's lost her son. She's not about to lose her husband too. Kenzie is an enemy with a face, which means this is a problem Marin can fix permanently. So I guess Kenzie is the younger woman's name. A lot of people have rated this book really high, so I'm definitely going to continue reading more of it, but like it's kind of slow in my opinion. So I'm really hoping it starts picking up soon because I'm not really feeling it right now. Okay, you guys, hopefully you can hear me. My husband is mowing the lawn. Right there, you can see him. Um, so, yeah, I hope you can hear me. But uh, today is April 22nd. We're not going to talk about how weird it is that I started this vlog like two days ago and then disappeared for two days. But I was really busy yesterday having to film and edit videos for my main channel and this channel and I just didn't I like I knew I wasn't gonna have time to read the rest of Little Secrets so that's why this video has been postponed to Saturday while you're watching it right now so I've been reading for a little bit I'm on page 64 I just got to chapter 7 so I know I said previously in like the clip before this about how like it was really slow and how I wasn't really enjoying at the at the time um i think i'm starting to get into it now uh it did talk now about the affair that i mentioned in the synopsis and um marin like the main character she just found out like who the girl is that like her husband's having an affair with and she like downloaded this like special app on her phone so that way she can get all the text messages that her husband sends to this girl um so that was like pretty interesting especially because like it talked about like Marion and like how angry she gets or like got because of this and like I feel like I could totally relate to that so I feel like I finally started relating to the character um so I just want to do like a quick little update while I continue reading just letting you guys know that it's like starting to get interesting with like the affair and stuff so we'll see what else happens okay this cracks me up because it's talking about all the hashtags she uses in her instagram photo like not the main character but the girl that's having an affair with her husband and then she says like she says uh Marin would be happy to suggest a few hashtags for her hashtag home record hashtag whore hashtag gold digger for starters i don't know why but that was like so funny to me <laughs> probably because like Marin is me like if i found out something like that that would be me oh my gosh so Marin went to the coffee shop where her husband's home wrecker is or the home wrecker Mackenzie is her name sorry so she goes to the coffee shop where Mackenzie works and because she has this like app thing on the phone Mackenzie is like sending text messages to Marin's husband I forget oh his name's Derek um and she sends him a nude selfie a nude selfie and could you imagine like if you were sitting in a coffee shop knowing that your husband's having an affair with the woman and you're getting the text messages and like you're sitting there when the girl sends a nude selfie to your husband and like literally um Derek responds and is like I'm going to lick every inch of you and this is Marin is going to kill her and it's like how are you not like literally getting up and like stabbing her right now because I literally would kill her like right now I mean I guess it might not be the girl's fault you never know maybe she doesn't know that Derek's married married but I would be going crazy like actually crazy for once oh my gosh you guys sorry I look really weird but I was trying to get sun on my shoulders um plot twist at page 103 okay I'm starting to like this book I'm not gonna say I love it yet because I don't know we're finally reading a chapter from it's actually um like Mackenzie or Kenzie's uh point of view which is super interesting because like well number one the plot twist that like I didn't update you guys on yet is when I first started reading the chapter of Kenzie's view is that 
their relationship, like her and Derek's relationship isn't what it seems like. Like he seems to be like very douchebaggy to her and like really mean and like she's broke. Like she's super broke. She could hardly buy the McDonald's food. And like he isn't really like even talking to her like he's just on her phone and he like yells at her all the time and um, she was just saying about how like um, she doesn't understand like why he's in a bad mood because like she had to deal with um, the wife like Marin today so when we were reading about Marin's viewpoint um, she said that like Kenzie didn't even react when she saw her so she was like oh Mackenzie probably doesn't even know who I am like she doesn't even know that I'm Derek's wife um, but now it's saying that like she was on her feet all morning serving customers at the green bean until Marin walked in looking like she wanted to rip Kenzie's throat open with her perfect teeth all the while still managing to look classy and completely fabulous Kenzie knows who Derek's wife is of course she does it had taken everything in her not to react to pretend her lover's wife was just another customer. So that's super crazy because like, Marin was in the coffee shop like literally looking at pictures of Kenzie like on her computer. Yeah, like I am so wondering now like what is happening. And I'm also like shocked that Derek is like being mean to Kenzie or like their relationship isn't what she's showing like on Instagram, if that makes any sense. Okay guys, we moved inside so we don't get burnt. And I made, it's not really a mimosa because I didn't have Prosecco, but I had orange juice I needed to use up and I had half a bottle of white wine I needed to use up, so I just mixed it, whatever. It's delicious. I'm going to continue reading Little Secrets. I did put some chicken in the Instapot because I'm going to make some chicken salad wrap things for dinner. I think I'm gonna try and read another like 100 pages, not another. I mean, I've read 110 pages, but 50 of those were from yesterday. But I wanna try and read another 100 pages by the time like we're eating dinner. And then maybe I can read more when I take like a bath later and then maybe I can finish it up tomorrow. Let's uh, read and drink our delicious drink. I got a bath earlier than normal because I wanted to have enough time to kind of like sit in bed and binge a lot of the book. So when I was in the bath, I got to page 143, 42. Um, it's the start of chapter 14. So I am almost at the halfway point, like it's getting there. And I don't really have much to update you guys on um, just because like right now it's just kind of like moving along in the storyline. So the last thing I kind of read was how Marin, her like old boyfriend, Sal, had her meet up with uh, this guy he knows that's going to murder Kenzie. I guess like at first he, they thought that he was gonna murder like Derek but then uh, Marin was like no I still want my husband like I want to get rid of the girl and then we read about how um, uh, it went back to like Kenzie's point of view and um, Derek actually like broke up with her well he like left $5,000 in the hotel room and then was like yeah 
never gonna see you again like here's five thousand dollars well anyway we learned that like kenzie was actually like she only really has like relationships with married men because of the fact that she is trying to use them like i guess she might blackmail them i'm not exactly sure how she gets the money but she gets like a large payout from each married man that she has an affair with in order to pay for like her rent and um her i think it's her mom's like nursing home is like three thousand dollars a month which is like crazy nuts so we just found that out um because before you think that kenzie's like really innocent um but now you kind of know that she's like not that she's kind of like blackmailing i guess also you kind of know that like she only has like relationships with married guys which is like i don't know i don't really feel bad for her anymore because at first like you know when you're reading a book it's like you go to it's like yeah there's like two things because it's like oh we well, want to be like so mad at, well not even reading a book but like when you read about like cheating or affairs at first you want to be like mad at the woman and be like oh my gosh like how dare her like what a home wrecker but then like sometimes the people don't actually know that the guy's married like he just lies about it so then you're kind of like oh well it's not the girl's fault like just be mad at the husband but she doesn't seem very innocent now so i guess we'll see what happens which i feel like part two like i think i actually got to part two like after i turned the camera off it was the very next chapter and i feel like part two just wasn't like nothing really happened so i'm really hoping that part three which is this much left of the book i hope that's when like some twists are gonna happen because in part two all that it really talked about was like Kenzie's past with her roommate Izzy um Izzy was the one that first like started being like the professional girlfriend where she would like date rich guys and then like have them pay her off um and so that's how Kenzie learned it is because Izzy like taught her so we just kind of got like a background on Kenzie um but it wasn't like super interesting like i actually was kind of bored and just trying to like get through it in order to like get to like i just want to like find out things because derek went back to his wife and they're on like a four-day vacation trip so kenzie is like seeing this on instagram and um she broke into his house like that was so stupid and i don't really understand like why she even did that like I thought she was gonna break into his house because she wanted to like steal stuff like she probably could have taken some stuff and like sold it but like literally she like took a cab and went to his house and then did nothing um it did like kind of talk about like she saw all the pictures of like his missing kid and stuff so you know that i guess kind of like is trying to get you to feel like emotional but i still didn't really understand like most of part two i feel like it was a little like unnecessary in my opinion it was just kind of like fluff so i just found out that sal which is the guy that is good friends with marin and like she used to date him back in the day and then like she actually slept with him once she found out that her husband was cheating on her. Well, anyway, um, his name is JR, which is the same name as Mackenzie's friend that she also used to sleep with. I don't think it's her roommate. I think it's just her friend, but like she used to sleep with that friend, but that's really bad because that means that, um, he knows everything. So he knows that Marin was going to kill her and he was sleeping with her and like, uh, yeah. Wait a second. I just thought of something. 
So, okay, so when Kenzie, I feel like, was getting, like, kidnapped or whatever because, you know, she was supposed to be murdered, um, when she turned around, she was like, oh, yeah, um, hey, person, was it Julian, I think? She was like, hey, Julian, I haven't seen you in a while, and Julian is the guy that's supposed to be killing Mackenzie, but this all makes sense now because when uh, when Marin showed the picture, like the naked selfie of Mackenzie to Sal and to Julian, they both had a smile on their face. So, okay, here's a theory I have. What page am I on? 275. So my theory is that Sal is mad at Marion for not ever like marrying him because he's always like been in love with her and she just like uses him and like she used to like date Sal and then she got married to her husband and then like she just had the fling with him or whatever but I wonder if he's going to pinpoint Kenzie being missing on Marin to get her back for that maybe all right you guys so I finished little secrets and I think I'm gonna give it four stars like it was a decent thriller there were definitely twists that I didn't see coming there was a little emotion at the end which was nice I just think that it was you know good it wasn't like fantastic it didn't blow me out of the water or anything but I definitely think that a lot of people like I can see why a lot of people like this I haven't heard any bad things about this um, there's nothing to really like super dislike about it now there's a couple of things that like I felt like the beginning of it, well, okay, let's start with what I first didn't like. I first didn't like that the synopsis kind of like told you so much of what was gonna happen. Then I didn't like that the like missing child support group thing was kind of like really prominent in the beginning and then also in the end. I felt like that was really boring to read about and I feel like those characters didn't really have anything to do with the rest of the story. It was just weird to have those characters in there, especially when you first start reading this book, like you're only reading about those characters and you don't know how they fit into everything. And then they just kind of like disappear for the middle of the book and they don't come back until the end for a little bit. So I feel like that wasn't really needed. And then there were just a couple parts, like I feel like part two was just kind of filled. It was just like fluff to me. Um, there, not a lot was happening. It was more of Kenzie's backstory and it reminded me a lot of The Arrangement by Robin Harding. I don't know if you've read that book, but the whole like sugar daddy type of thing really reminded me of that. But it definitely was better than The Arrangement. Um, so I think I'm going to end up just giving this a you know, clear four stars because the couple twists that you guys saw me react to, like those were pretty good. And then I am really glad that like this ended with her finding her child. So let's go ahead and do like a little synopsis in a nutshell. So Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier is about this lady named Marin who her son goes missing. His name is Sebastian. I'm not exactly sure how old he is. He's probably like, I don't know, five or something like that. Um, but he goes missing, he gets kidnapped by they don't know who, and he's been gone for 16 months. And so it, in the beginning you hear about him being missing and then it fast forwards to 16 months from then. Marin has been having like, you know, a lot of problems with that. Like she's been depressed. She did try and commit suicide. And her husband, Derek, we find out um, has been cheating on her. Marin had hired a private investigator, which is how she found out that Derek was cheating on her and he was cheating with this girl named Mackenzie or Kenzie who we then find out is just using him to get money. So she is like a professional girlfriend. She just dates older men in order to steal their money or like get paid out. She dates them for a couple months and then once they're like tired of her and they're like, okay, I'm done with this. Then she like goes to their house and like demands money or she's gonna like, you know, post all their pictures all over the place and their wife is gonna find out and stuff. So that's how she pays the bills. So we read about uh, Kenzie's perspective there for a little bit, which I did appreciate 
appreciate. I liked reading from her point of view. And so you get to like see the truth behind her and Derek's relationship. We never really get to see like the positives of the relationship. We only really get to see the negatives, but that kind of like, I don't know, makes you see like Kenzie's true thoughts or feelings. Cause at first I was actually feeling sorry for her because Marion decides that she wants to have Kenzie killed. So then we get into like this other part. So then Marion has a best friend named Sal who she used to date back in the day. And she broke up with Sal when she actually got with Derek and married Derek. So they've been married for like 20 years, but she's always stayed best friends with Sal. Now she contacted Sal in order to find like a hitman, So that way she can have Kenzie killed. And she goes ahead and transfers like $250,000 to Julian, who's the hitman. And it's supposed to be like, you know, for this charity or whatever. So that way she doesn't get in trouble. Um, she had told the private investigator to like call off searching for like her son or at least like in the affair. And the private investigator like didn't. And so the private investigator then found out that Marion was trying to get Kenzie killed, but thankfully she was nice about it and didn't like turn her in. At this time, we then find out that Kenzie goes missing and then find out that Kenzie's friend JR that she's been kind of like talking to that she like occasionally sleeps with and like he's kind of been giving her advice about what to do with the Derek situation we find out that JR is Sal and so then it kind of like speeds up from that point because we only find that out in like the last like little bit of the book and so you find out that part you guys saw me find that out and then after that you kind of like know what's gonna happen I feel like that was kind of like the big twist and reveal and then after that you kind of just know how it's going to end so then it ends with um julian had actually did kidnap um kenzie and he did it so that way he could get another two hundred and fifty thousand because sal and mackenzie and julian were all going to split that money um that was like their way of getting well that was their way like kenzie's way of getting Derek back for breaking up with her and then that was sal's way of getting back to marin um for like you know never getting married to her or something and then julian was just in it for the money well so the ending kind of gets a little like a lot of stuff happening sal went to his mom's house and that's where uh kenzie was as well and then we find out that sebastian the little boy that was lost actually has been staying there so sal is actually the one that kidnapped or technically i guess it was julian that kidnapped sebastian 16 months ago and sal said that like Derek which is Sebastian's father, was the one that was like abusive. And so his mom, like Sal's mom, has been taking care of Sebastian the whole time. So like thankfully we find out that Sebastian, it wasn't like, you know, not cared for. Like she would like give him baths and read books to him. And it actually was like really emotional at that part because like she talked about Marin the whole time and was like, you know, one day your mommy's gonna come get you and stuff. And so that did make me like tear up just a little bit. So I really did appreciate that like emotional aspect of it. The private investigator and the cops like all kind of Find this out and they come to get sal he kind of like was getting crazy and whatever anyway so like he goes to jail for that we find out that julian actually took all the five hundred thousand dollars um and just disappears so we don't even know what happened to julian and then um at the end marin well obviously she gets sebastian back and then she ends up giving two hundred fifty thousand dollars to kenzie because she just feels guilty for you know like putting like almost murdering her or whatever um so she says like you know i know that you're not a good person and you really shouldn't have like you know gone after my husband to take his money but in order for me not to have a guilty conscience about like trying to murder you here's two hundred fifty thousand dollars. so hope you have a good life and then it just kind of ends from there and that's the end that is the whole book i literally feel like i did a really good job like telling you about this book and like the storyline sometimes i read books and i'm like mm, i don't even really know what happened but this one i feel like kind of i was able to tell you what happened so definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys rated this book if you thought it was good if you thought it was great if it's like your new favorite thriller i would definitely recommend it to like 
thriller lovers. I just don't think that it was as like twisty turny. To me, it was more of like a mystery thriller. It wasn't one of those like super fast paced thrillers. And so I do really like Jennifer Hillier's uh, writing from this book. And so I am gonna try and pick up Jar of Hearts very soon because you all have been telling me, like every single person in the world has been telling me to read the, that book and I haven't yet. So going to pick that up soon. Also let me know if you guys really like these spoiler vlogs. I love making them for you guys. And next month I'm gonna be doing the grace year so make sure that you read the grace year in anticipation for my spoiler vlog that's going to be go going up in may so that's it for this video give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys in my wednesday video Bye, everyone.